Yo, what is up everyone? How is it going? My name is Nane and or Nane Tim bringing you yet another Raid the Dungeon video. And in today's video, we're just going to be covering the developer's notes they posted here. Uh, they apologized for a few things. Uh, they gave some reasons for the recent slowdown on the update process, uh, the postponed schedules, and change contents of the guild raid. But quickly, I want to go ahead and let you guys know, in the next video, which I will be posting immediately after this one, is patch 1.9.1 uh this this massive update uh i'm looking forward to reading through it all i haven't even read through it all like at all yet but first i wanted to touch up on this developer notes it seems very kind of sentimental that they they really feel bad for uh the slowdown of the update process which in my opinion i i haven't really felt a slowdown on it at all like i feel like they are doing a very good job they're they're giving events nearly back to back i mean there's been like a one two week delay in the most recent event but I, in my opinion that's a perfectly fine like period of time in between events but anywho let's go ahead and jump into it uh we apologize for the recent slowdown update process as well as the lack of events also we feel responsible for the negative feedback towards our game today we would like to talk about these problems and share our current development process so I'm very happy, like, I have been seeing a lot of people uh, express, you know, just how, how upset they are and everything on the Facebook page. Uh, I've seen some people mention it on the Discord, and it's just, you know, it's, it's very good that they're addressing some of these issues. Um, I'm not sure exactly if they do specifically address any of these, because as I haven't read through all of this yet, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Take a sip of my Capri Sun. All right, so number one, the delay of developing the game due to COVID-19. As it is a very difficult period for everyone, our team has also been put under negative circumstance circumstances as well. As our social distancing level has been gradually increasing, the longer we had to work from home, whenever there were suspected infectees, we had to leave the office right away. Which, this, I'm, I'm happy they're doing this. Like, keep you keep your guys safe. Like, um, I'm fine with waiting for an update for another two weeks. I, I don't, I don't care if I have to wait another three weeks. If y'all are still all right and okay, and you know y'all can keep developing this game into two, three, four years from now, take as much time as you guys need. Like, be safe. Like, just, just, yeah, just be safe. Uh, do the homeworking, or uh, well, due to this homeworking, communication, and decision making have been taking longer and our work efficiency has decreased as well. Since then, the update process overall has slowed down. In order to resolve one of the chronic issues, which was the lack of employees, we have, we have continuously posted employment notices. However, this has been difficult since face-to-face -face interviews were difficult to carry on due to COVID-19. Completely understandable. I'm sure they had a lot less uh, inter or interviews as well as they normally would have, a lot less uh, applications due to COVID-19, but I mean, they, they're trying, they, they're really trying. Um, even if we do hire more employees, due to the characteristic of our team uh, in which we have been carrying on projects as a small team, it is difficult for the new employees to, performance, to perform certain tasks right away. Understandable, you're a tight-knit group of you know people you, you know how to you know you, you know what each person's duty is if a new person comes in they will feel out of place they, they, they don't exactly know what their spot is yet and they're gonna have to learn that over a little bit of time it, it's completely all right um, thus our development schedule has been lagging even the schedules that we were certain to carry on that we were certain to carry on on time uh, all of our team are putting in a lot of effort to normalize our work. We would appreciate your understanding. I, I don't know about everyone else, but I completely understand, man. Like, it, it's it's a hard time. You know, we're all trying to get through it. Y'all take all the time you need. In my opinion, take all the time you need. Get better. You know, or well, I'm in terms of get better. I mean, you know, make sure no one's actually got COVID. Um, and yeah, like, uh, just stay safe, stay safe. Um, two, the delay and change of plans of the guild contents. Due to the, the delay of the overall development process, we had some time to reconsider the guild contents that we have been developing, which pretty much this is right here just saying they had some time to fine tune it, to think about, you know, 
certain ways to, you know, make it better for everyone. We have mainly considered the worries of many users regarding several top guilds mon monopolizing the raid. Because of the system that all guilds in one server gets to compete, this may have been an inevitable problem. We also perceive this, this issue and try to reduce the gap between guilds through implementing various systems. However, unless we make the gap between guilds meaningless, we have realized that, that consequently it would be a content that simply lines up the guilds. That is very true. That, that is absolutely true. Uh, the raid that we have previously informed was difficult to cover this problem, and since we are doubtful to present a content that contains inevitable issues, we had many discussions regarding the guild contents. We are very sorry for users who have been waiting for the guild raid, but we have decided to give up our current process and develop a different guild content. Um, the explanation of the change guild contents are as below. The title of the new guild content is the Guild War. To simply explain, this is an occupation war between three to four guilds that are even that are matched every season. Now this is interesting. Now I, I I kind of respect their decision. They don't want you know just it to be a lineup of the guilds like rankings and everything. But this uh, this is an interesting little thing. I like this. Um, this is a content to occupy the the opponent guild's defense wave and to gain victory through the number of occupied bases. Depending on the occupying bases, the members will receive a bonus, uh, gold obtained, and other contents. Also, additional rewards will be given depending on the rank, which has been determined through the number of occupied bases. Interesting. Okay. So you could get possibly, you know, some Infinity Essence, may maybe some Eternal Tokens, you know, you know, maybe some, you know, quest points, you know, give some free-to-play players a way to get some quest points so they can buy their monthly, and, you know, um, rewards that will give immediate influence on the character's development uh, regarding the participation is also being ready. Uh, in the case of the previous guild raid, all guilds in one server were comp supposed to compete. Considering the gap between the guilds, the new guild war is being developed by reducing direct battles with other guilds as much as possible. In the new guild war, our goal is to maximize the competition between guilds, but limit the target guild so that we cannot predict which guild will win the war. So that every guild can participate in the war, even if it is not one of the top guilds in the server. Interesting. I I'm, I'm very confused by practically everything they're saying here. Um, but I guess I'll just have to wait and find out, you know, what it actually is. Um, but yeah, it, I'm, I'm excited for anything new. Let's do it. Uh, the expected release time is January to February. We are putting in effort to develop the new Guild War as fun and, and fast as possible. We will appreciate it if our users wait just a little bit more. Um, future updates. Number three. This is a lot of reading, and I got even more to do right after this with the 1.9 video. Oof. All right, uh, let's jo jump into the future updates. As many users have pointed out, the recent update was about regulating the content consumption speed. As we have mentioned above, this was a compulsory decision due to the extended situation of COVID-19. The future updates will focus on releasing the, the regulated contents and reinforcing the overall development speed. Among our future updates, the relatively easy parts to change is also mentioned, or is also partially mentioned in 1.9.1 no update notice. One of the issues regarding above was the enhancement section between 1400 to 1500. Actually, our original plan was to increase the enhancement limits in November, then manage the gold consumption through the guild content, and consequently speed up, excuse me, speed up the development of new users. However, due to the delay of the guild contents, users may have been suffering from the process of enhancing gears in the increased section. We should have also postponed the enhancement level expansion or should not have increased the price. We believe it was not a thoughtful update. Uh, we will consider if this part is also resolvable by a different method. Uh, so that users should not have to wait until the guild update. In addition, we will also consider modifying some of the set options, which we will have, which we have received emails and has been an issue in the community. Those options were released a very long time ago, and since many users have been using those options, we thought that it would not have severe issues. Uh, if it is possible, we will check on other set options as well as the set options mentioned above. 
We sincerely apologize for uploading a delayed notice of our plans. Once again, we are very sorry. Whew. All right. Done with reading all of this. That was so much. All right. Well, first off, I want to go ahead and say y'all are doing a great job. If, if anyone from the Raid the Dungeon team watches this video, y'all are doing a great job. By my standards, you are doing a fantastic job. Sure, some things could be done better. That's always going to be how it is. We're human. You can't do everything perfect. That's perfectly fine. Um, COVID-19, I get it. You, you Keep yourself safe. That's number one. Um, and then the delay and change of the guild contents, I completely understand why you wouldn't really want to just throw in a system that just makes the best guilds get the most rewards like that's just giving the top players you know more on the top which i've never been a fan of that kind of system so i'm happy that you're giving us a different system that's going to make it a little bit more fair for just about everyone um but uh and then also on the future updates uh i'm gonna be checking in on 1.1 1.9.1 soon uh, the 1400 to 1500, I haven't had a, any experience with this yet. Uh, I'm building my way up there. Uh, but all in all, y'all are doing a great job. I want to just say that, uh, I, I don't think y'all have to apologize for anything. Um, but yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you Raid the Dungeon developers. If any of you watch this video and I'll, yeah, uh, <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like, comment down below, tell me what you thought, subscribe if you want to see more uh, Raid the Dungeon content in the future, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.